Hello everybody and welcome to the channel. It's Paul Esther here and today I want to talk about present and possibly future band collaborations with Dead by Daylight. So presumably the two collabs that we've had so far have been successful between Iron Maiden and Slipknot. Um, only Dead by Daylight knows for sure how many units they're selling. I can only really judge it by what I see in the fog. I see the odd killer cosmetic for Iron Maiden and Slipknot. I probably see more of the Survivor shirts for Iron Maiden, which begs the question, should they have made Survivor shirts for Slipknot as well? Those seem to have been quite popular. The In Real Life merchandise has also been quite popular. We had these shirts from shop.deadbydaylight.com, the collab with Iron Maiden, and all five of the designs sold out. They're back in stock now. I never got mine the first go around, so now I went ahead and put in a new order of shirts here for myself. I was waiting for them all to come back in stock. Only the first two had come back in stock initially. Now it looks like all five styles are in stock. So if you missed out on those, you get another chance at those. But the the Iron Maiden collab seems like it has been a resounding success. Um, Slipknot I have an appreciation for the masks there as well probably to a lesser degree than the full-on cosmetics for the um, the killers for Iron Maiden, save for the Legion, which is a, a full Slipknot outfit. But it got me wondering how successful these have been and would they pursue other collaborations with other bands. And primarily the one that seems the most obvious would be Kiss. And this came to the forefront with the news last week that Kiss has sold their entire catalog, brand name, and intellectual property, uh, according to the Associated Press. And Gene Simmons says it's just a collaboration. It's never really the end of the road for Kiss. The hard rock quartet have sold their catalog, their brand name, and their IP to Swedish company Pop House Entertainment Group in a deal estimated to be over $300 million. It was announced on April the 4th. And it's not, yeah, okay. Uh, this isn't the first time KISS has partnered with Pop House, which was co-founded by ABBA's Bjorn Olveas, when the band's current lineup founders Paul Stanley and Gene Simmons, as well as guitarist Tommy Thayer and drummer Eric Singer, took the stage at the final night of their farewell tour in December at the New York City's famed Madison Square Garden. They ended by revealing digitized avatars of themselves. The cutting-edge technology was created by George Lucas Special Effects Company, Industrial Light and Magic in partnership with Pop House. The two companies recently teamed up for the ABBA Voyage show in London, in which fans could attend a full concert by the Swedish bands in their heyday, performed by their digital avatars. So, KISS is no stranger to merchandising, to be sure. They are the best-selling uh, rock and roll group of all time, they went into the uh, merchandising quite early. I remember back in the day, they had their own Kiss Comics for Marvel Comics, which was um, presumably they put drops of their blood into the ink. So Kiss blood was diluted through the ink that the comic books were printed on. So they, they would seem to be a very easy partner to get for uh, a collaboration because they are merchandising everything. Uh, there's this article here of the 10 craziest KISS merchandise items here. We have KISS M&Ms, KISS coffee table, KISS guitar straps and novelty picks. That one's not that strange to me. KISS aprons, this one's pretty funny. KISS the cook. KISS, KISS condoms. Tongue lubricated. I have questions. No, never mind. I don't have questions. Kiss cereal, even sugar frosted Kiss Crunch cereal. Kiss ceramic mugs. Kiss has their own wine. Kiss this. Kiss baby clothes. And the one that has always been the strangest one to me is the Kiss coffin. Yep. The last one is a real coffin. What a practical item to buy. As long as you're alive, it would serve as a beverage container or a perfect hiding place if you want to shut out the world. <laughs> what? It's full of beers. What's happening? I think it says, like, kiss forever on the side, which is, like, hilarious. So, as Gene says, you know, they got the baby clothes. 
and the uh the coffin they get you coming and going you know but um tsh. yeah so like th there is no end to the amount of merchandise that kiss will endure so i don't see why they would balk at the idea of having survivors with their faces painted up like kiss um i think it would be a no-brainer and easy to get and would there be demand for it? Is that something that you would be interested in? Do you like KISS? Are there some other bands that you think that Dead by Daylight should also be looking at that I am unaware of? What bands would you think would be a good fit? I'm assuming it would be like in that, you know, rock and roll metal genre, because that seems most likely where we have the people who are... Ghost would be another example of uh, people who have like painted themselves up or masks or things like that that could translate into the fog. But let me know what ideas you have of um, musical collaborations between Dead by Daylight and the musical artist of your choice. I'm very curious to hear your thoughts on all this. But that's all I have to show you today. Just a light, fluffy video here about Kiss and the possibility of bringing Kiss into Dead by Daylight. Again, let me know what you think. As always, I appreciate the time that you spend here with me on my channel. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe as it helps the channel a ton. And don't forget to take care of each other in and out of the fog. And we'll see you next time. Have a great day, everybody. Bye-bye. It's a Gen Rush life for us. It's a Gen Rush life for us. Set a hiding, we do gens. Set a randoms, we got friends. It's a Gen Rush life.